rise in full effect a little after 7 a.m. this morning. So definitely looking like a very nice one if you're dodging the rain. Of course, 82 degrees, winds fairly quiet at the moment. Temperatures feeling like the low 80s, so not too bad at the moment. But for some neighborhoods later today, especially across Palm Beach County, we're anticipating temperatures to feel over 105 plus degrees for an extended period of time. So another heat advisory going into effect at 10 a.m. today across Palm Beach County. And watching just a few spotty showers there along Jupiter Island, a hope sound, some light rainfall just grazing the coast. And as we look further south, a couple more spotty showers across the board from Lake Worth Beach down into Lantana. And then even looking at some showers just to the south of Delray Beach near Boca Raton. So we're going to keep an eye on the shower forecast for you at least throughout the early morning hours and then by the afternoon we'll see isolated rainfall and storms developing near the turnpike 95 pushing towards the western half of the state we'll see the second low tide today around six o'clock high tide just around lunchtime so we have a couple areas to talk about in the tropics we have one in the gulf of mexico that does have a high likelihood of becoming a tropical depression and even a tropical storm likely as it will impact the northern gulf coast states there later on in the brand new work week and as we take a trip all the way out to the east we have two other areas that we're watching in the tropics for development. This one right here, this is Invest 92L with a high likelihood as well as becoming a depression by the midweek of that brand new work week. And then behind it, another area that we're watching over the next several days for also tropical development. So no name storms just yet, but we could have Francine as early as Monday, Tuesday, and then probably looking at this impacting, as I mentioned, the Gulf Coast states from Texas all the way to Louisiana as early as Thursday morning. So something we're going to be watching over the next couple of days. As for us here all the way in South Florida, it does not look like we're going to see a direct impact from this system at all, but just a good reminder that it's hurricane season to have that plan ready to go. Temperatures out the door, upper to mid 70s, so looking good there for Pierce. We're at 76 degrees, Okeechobee 77. Then we have the mixed bag of upper 70s to the low 80s across the Palm Beaches. Feels like temperatures hitting those hundreds by around the 10 a.m. hour all the way through 6 p.m. And again, as I mentioned, we do have the chance to see a couple of passing showers that'll help cool you off, but impact weather really will just be that heat that we're dealing with later today. So here's a look, three o'clock snapshot, couple scatter showers and storms mostly inland by around the late afternoon to the early evening. We can't rule out maybe a couple of showers and storms developing on the western half of the state that could track off to the east. So we're talking a little extra rainfall there from Okeechobee all the way into Indian River County, even St. Lucie County later on tonight well past sundown. So we're going to keep the rain chance in the forecast for you at least this evening along the Treasure Coast. Around 40% coverage for your Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I think Wednesday we do see a little extra moisture that we're going to tap into around 50% coverage. So that's why we are also going with some impact weather then. And then slightly drier, believe it or not, for your Thursday, Friday, Saturday with just a few isolated showers laid out.